this is going to be the first chapter of manq in this chapter we are going to go ahead and understand what are the 10 principles of economics see before we go ahead and deep dive into economics and try and understand what is microeconomics all about and what is consumer theory and what is producer theory it is very important for us to go ahead and understand what is economics based on what are the principles that act as a guidance to any of the theory that we go ahead and study these principles that we are going to study in this chapter are going to be mix of micro and macro economics so ideally these are known as principles of economics the principles are across the two subjects together right but these are the guiding principles they help you to understand how economics work they help you to understand how international economics work how consumer theory works how producer theory works and so on so to begin with what are the kind of questions that we are trying to ask in this chapter we are trying to address the first most important question what does economics address what is economics all about what is the kind of question that economics answer that is the first thing we want to understand secondly we want to understand how these principles help people make decision so you know for example that a consumer gets satisfaction from a commodity the satisfaction that a consumer gets from a commodity is called utility how does that utility come into picture suppose there is a guiding principle which says that things are scarce okay there is less of commodity how does that help me to solve the problems of economics so whatever be the principle whatever be the theory that you study in economics i'm not only talking about these principles i am talking about anything in general you know this is what people do so you know if you go ahead and you study you know you study physics you say ma uh, force is equal to mass into acceleration what has that to do in the real world that is what you ask yourself so once we understand these principles the next question that we are really asking is how people make decision i know this principle i know there is scarcity of commodity i know what is opportunity cost how do i make use of that in my day to day life right that is what we want to answer what are the principles of how people interact how do people interact and you know when you keep deep diving into economics slowly you will see that you know macroeconomics in its chapter on money talks about something which is known as barter system initially people used to deal with each other where there used to be a product that one person had a product that the other person had both of them wanted to check you know do you sell what i want do i sell what you want okay let's exchange the product so how do these principles that we study act as a guidance system for us how do they guide how the economy is going to work that is the next question that we are asking what are the principles of how the economy as a whole works so how do people work micro smaller level individualistic level how the economy works macro aggregate level so we have to ask these questions to ourselves now the first and most important thing whether you are learning economics for the first time or you have learned economics in the past the first question that arises is what economics is all about what is economics really what do we mean by economics why do you have to learn economics economics is all about scarcity of goods there are goods which are limited there are wants which are unlimited i need gold i need bmw i need the best 
house that is possible. But what is limited? My income. We need petrol. But what is limited? Petrol in the economy. It's a non-renewable resource. So your wants are always unlimited. Everybody wants more and more of every product. That is what you want. But what you have would be limited. That is what scarcity means. So scarcity refers to the limited nature of society's resources. Resources are limited in the economy, but the needs, the wants of the people, they are unlimited. Everybody wants as much as possible. This is where later on in economics, you would learn something which is known as constraint optimization. Very, very later, very later. You know, this is not going to be a topic from basic microeconomics. But I just want to give this word once. Constrained optimization. What is constrained optimization? Given the constraints that I face, I want to optimize. I want to maximize. What is my constraint? My income. I can only consume the maximum amount, the, you know, whatever I want, the house, the car, whatever, the food, the best burgers, the best cafes, with it, the constraint of my income, within the constraint of my pocket money. I want to, you know, go ahead and crack IAS exam. I want to study as much as possible. What is my constraint? My time. Nobody can have more than 24 hours a day. So constrained optimization, you want to work, you want to enjoy leisure within the constraint that the time is limited. There is only 24 hours in a day. So you pick up anything, there will be always a constraint over that. When we talk about that constraint in case of resources, when we say that we have unlimited resources, uh, sorry, unlimited wants, but limited resources, that is scarcity. So let's read it out. Scarcity refers to the limited nature of society's resources. Now the resources are limited. Now I, my income is limited. My pocket money is limited. My time is limited. What do I have to do as an agent? Decide. I have 1000 rupees. Should I consume 900 on food in a cafe's bill and 100 on books? Should I spend 600 on books and 400 on a bill of cafe? Should I spend just 100 on cafe, 500 on books and save the remaining for any uncertainty in the future? What I want to do with my resources is the question that I want to ask myself. That is economics. You're doing economics in your daily life. You have constraint of resources, constraint over the resources. You want to see what gives you the maximum satisfaction. Now, your and mine satisfaction can be different. You can get maximum satisfaction by spending 800 on books and 200 on a cafe. I may get maximum satisfaction by spending 800 on going and eating food and just spending 100 on books and maybe buying soft copies of the books online. So what you do as optimization, as maximization, what decision you take would be different from what decision I take. So each individual is going ahead and doing its own economics. And the economy as a whole is also doing its economics. How? Economy has a total pool of labor. Economy has the total pool of capital. Should I use this labor and capital to produce weapons for defense? Should I use to produce bread? Should I use it to produce butter? Should I use to produce some machinery? I have to, as an economy, decide, should I become a food producing economy? A capital producing economy, weapon producing economy, what should I do? So this is economics. What is economics? It is a study of how society manages its scarce resources. 
resources are scarce resources are limited using those limited resources how do you manage as a society how do you use those resources that is economics